Have you ever wondered how some people just smell amazing all the time? Well, so have I. Hello, I'm Matthew Lamotte, three-time magic champion living in Cambridge. And in this video, I'm gonna share my top seven tips that I've picked up over the years for smelling fresh all day long. Let's get to it. So tip number one is shaving your armpits. Now this was a tip that was given to me by a really good friend of mine who comes from an acting background. Uh, and apparently it's really well known among actors, dancers, and in bodybuilding that shaving your armpits reduces the, the amount of smell that comes off of you. The reason for this is the hair create, creates surface area. So if you get rid of the hair, it reduces the surface area, which reduces the amount of bacteria that can gather and feast on our sweaty pits, which is what causes the smell. So shaving the armpits is a really good way of, uh, of dealing with that. Now, if you're shaving your armpits for the first time, I recommend you use plenty of shaving foam. Take your time and make sure to remove all of the hair as best as you can. It takes some time and it takes a bit of dedication, but once it's all gone, you'll be smelling much, much better, much, much faster. One other tip uh, or something to bear in mind is the first two or three times you do this, your armpits will feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, as the hair starts to grow back. It's like shaving for the first time. It's uncomfortable the first few times you do it, but as you do it over a prolonged period of time, your skin just gets used to it and it, it becomes invisible. It becomes like white noise. So persist with it for at least three times. If you still get some discomfort, I'm sure there's some, some balms and creams and stuff that you can use to help ease that pain over that first kind of pain period, but it's really, really well worth it. And it does reduce the amount of uh, body odor that is distributed into the ether and into your clothes. So shave your armpits, but be careful. Tip number two is choosing the right deodorant. Now, as a teenager growing up, I was of course a Lynx Africa kind of guy. Uh, my granddad would get my brother and I a Lynx Africa gift set every single Christmas without fail. So thank you, granddad. Um, right up into our twenties, actually, we stopped using it, but we never told him, we didn't have the heart. What I have used over the years are antiperspirants. I've used sports sprays, I've used antiperspirants, um, I've used roll-ons, all sorts of things. I've tried them all. And I've actually recently discovered, making this video, that antiperspirants actually um, make the problem worse because whatever's in the antiperspirant, certain chemicals or ingredients, causes the bacteria to feast on that. So it actually makes it even worse. So antiperspirants do not work. So the best things that I've found is a product from Zero Waste, let me just get their name, uh, Zero Waste Path. They're, um, they come in little tins, they're environmentally friendly. Um, it was just an experiment really to buy one, but it was the longest lasting deodorant I've ever had. It, you, you put some on your fingers, rub it under your armpits, and it lasts all day. It's very, very good stuff. So Zero Waste Path. I'll put a link somewhere in the description. I've recently switched to a brand called Wild. Um, I'm not sponsored at all. This video is not sponsored, uh, but I've, I've really enjoyed this product. It comes in these tins, which you can get different colors of these tins. You spin the bottom and it pushes it up and back down again like this. Again, it's environmentally friendly. It comes in these little refill packs like this and they've got lots of different flavors. Not that you're gonna eat them, but yeah. This one is sandalwood and patchouli. Very nice. This one is, I think, cotton or something. Sea, sea cotton, something smelly. Not quite as punchy, that one. So I'm looking forward to using this one once this one's out. Uh, but yeah, really good stuff. And I would recommend using something more like this, which is a stick which goes under your arm. Uh, and it uses natural ingredients as well. And I think that that lasts a lot, lot longer. Just my opinion. So I would highly recommend Wild and there'll be an affiliate link down below somewhere. Good stuff. Number three is using clothes conditioner. Now, as we use the same products over and over to wash our clothes, we become nose blind to them. And this is actually something called olfactory fatigue, which is losing sensitivity to odors after prolonged exposure. So as we use our products all the time, we become kind of unaware of what we smell like. But if you've ever smelt somebody else and they smell kind of nice or fresh, like a, a freshly, well, like clothes conditioner, then you know that other people can smell it on you as well. So if you're not using Using conditioner what it does is it creates a longer lasting smell not only that it also makes ironing easier and allows clothes to dry quicker so start putting conditioner in with your wash number four are the Aegis sweat proof undergarments and I'm actually wearing one of them right now and what they are is they're a special t-shirt which have a fabric underneath the armpits you might be able to see just here there's a stitch mark so the fabric under the armpits is very different to the one that's on the front and the back so this is quite a thin material which allows uh, sweat to wick away from the body, cooling you down quickly. 
but underneath the armpits is a different material. It's thicker and it absorbs the sweat. So what it does is it stops you from sweating into any dress shirts, which is amazing for me as a magician. I'm performing all the time in suits. It gets very hot when you're in rooms filled with hundreds of people on hot lights on theater shows, uh, theater stages. Um, so it stops you from, from any visible sweat patches. The second thing is, is the fabric is silver embedded fabric. And what this does apparently is it neutralizes any odors and it really does work. I come away from a booking and I don't smell and I'm not sweated through anything. These are amazing, absolute game changers. I have to give a shout out to Elliot Terrell and his podcast, The Magical Thinking Podcast, which I highly recommend. And there was one interview with Steve Cohen, otherwise known as the Millionaire's Magician, who does like five or six shows uh, Friday to Sunday, like back to back shows. He uses these shirts as well. And what they allow you to do is to wear dress shirts and jumpers multiple times. So if I've got a run of bookings and I don't have time to iron and wash and do all those things, I can wear a dress shirt two or three times without that shirt being smelly or sweat ridden at all. Game changing. Uh, with jumpers, so in a sort of just general life day to day, I have some jumpers which are hand wash only. If you have any hand wash only products, you'll know how much of a pain they are to sort of to choose whether you want to wear them or not. It's like, do I wear that or do I not? Because I have to wash it by hand tomorrow. These allow you to wear that garment, uh, that jumper that you want to wear, two, three, sometimes four times without having to wash it at all. The sweat doesn't go through, it doesn't smell. The only reason I really hand wash it now is um, when it stretches a little bit too far and you know, it just needs washing, doesn't it? Let's get honest, we all need to wash ourselves. But these are the Aegis uh, sweatproof undergarments and I've got an affiliate link down below. They've got them for guys and for girls, absolutely game changers, highly recommend. Number five is the atomizer. Now all perfumes and aftershaves come in big bottles like this. So we spray ourselves down in the morning and then maybe we go to the restaurant, maybe we meet friends, maybe we hop in a taxi, go somewhere else and four or five hours later, we've lost our smell. We've been in a few different environments and it's just kind of whittled out. How do we top that up without carrying on these big bottles around? Introducing the atomizer. This thing is absolutely game changing and I'll show you what it is. There's two different types that I've come across. The first one that I came across had a little valve in the bottom and the way that worked is you had to take the lid off of your, uh, your perfume here and then pump it in like that. And uh, to be honest, the ones that I have used have broken quite quickly and they're not that great. So I would recommend getting this style and I'll show you what it looks like. As this is just like a sleeve and then inside here there's a little vial. Uh, get that little tap and it comes with a filter, a filter, a funnel, like this. So you take your funnel, put that in, you take your big bottle, and then you spray the perfume, or aftershave, into the vial, like that, careful not to spit it. Take the funnel out, pop this back in, pop the sleeve on the bottom, lid on top, and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, I use this professionally. I've always got one in my, my gig case uh, and I carry one around just day to day as well, just to sort of top up throughout the day, maybe once, twice out of the day. Um, I've been away on three or four day trips, sort of city breaks and things like that. And um, this, like there's enough in here to last three or four days easily. So uh, yeah, get an atomizer. It'll get you smelling fresh all day long. Highly recommend. I've also put an affiliate link for that down below. Number six is a breath spray. Now, clearly the best way to keep your breath smelling fresh is brushing your teeth. However, if you're halfway through the day, you've just had your lunch and you're about to meet someone professionally, chewing gum just isn't a good look, let's face it. So the best solution to this is a breath spray. Now I don't have any on me at the moment, I've actually run out uh, annoyingly, but you can get them in small little um, containers which are no, no bigger than this kind of size. A few sprays of that and it will keep your breath smelling fresh for those first interactions and those first impressions, which always make a difference. Just make sure you know how to apply it properly. Number seven is drinking enough water. Now this is tried and tested advice, scientifically proven. The more water we drink, the less potent our natural body odor will be. This also has the added effect of reducing our body temperature, which reduces our chance of sweating, and also it flushes the toxins out of our bodies, and that is part of what causes us to smell. So how much water is enough water? Well, this varies from person to person, but if you go to the toilet and your pee is looking a little bit yellow or quite dark, then 
that's the time to start drinking more water. It's a sign of dehydration. So the more water you drink, the better. Uh, to remember to drink enough, um, uh, my girlfriend got me one of these bottles. They're really, really good. It just helps if you put water into a bottle like this, it helps keep you track of how much you're drinking throughout the day. So definitely drinking more water is the easiest way to smelling great all day. Talking of becoming a sweaty mess, you should definitely check out this video about how to avoid being nervous. In a bit. Back, uh, backing background? A backing background? God damn it. Ah. Oh. <sighs>